Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, I've got Jared here, and we're gonna go ahead and answer the question. You know, a lot of people are considering switching over to lithium, and we know that lithium has a lot of different things to it if we compare yep. the two, but mm -hmm. what's the consideration of that converter? If we have the old school converter that comes in our RV, what do we need to do with lithium? So you can drop in lithium and you can use that old converter, but you're not gonna get a full charge on that. So if you're gonna spend that much money on lithium, you're probably gonna to wanna to update that converter because if you don't, you're only gonna charge it up to about 80% and that's all you're gonna get out of yeah. it. So what he's saying is, of course, with the converters, the highest voltage output in absorption mode is about 13.6 volts, Yep. right? And what do we need to charge lithium up to? We need it 14.4 uh, or 14.6. Right, and so we don't get the full charge. Now, I will also say that's not gonna hurt your battery, but mm -hmm. over time, I think it will, right? Because each battery um, has, there's four cells in that battery and they can mm -hmm. get out of balance. Well, you get a year or two in there, mm -hmm. and I may have a cell that just isn't performing the same as the others, yeah. and while the others may be getting 80%, this one's only getting 40%. Mm -hmm. And that BMS is gonna shut things down, one of those, when one of those cells gets too low. Mm -hmm. So um, they don't balance themselves until they get what's called a top charge. So you're absolutely right. If you're going to spend the money in mm -hmm. switching over, uh, you don't have to do it immediately because we also know there's a, there's a cost there. Yeah. Right, but you can do it in stages. Just know that at some point you want to go ahead and switch that over. Now you get the full potential of that lithium battery. <laughs> do we got to consider the size of the wire or anything like that? Yes, if you're using that same converter, like you said, it's gonna be basically the same load. But if you're swapping out that converter and you're using it to charge those batteries faster because they can receive that charge faster, then you're gonna to wanna to upsize that wire. Right, so many questions, you know? So yeah. there we go. <laughs> and there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. You should do it this time. And go, and there's your tech tip. What have you done for me lately, Todd? Hey, I've got Jared here. We're gonna ask a question, or we're gonna, well, we're not gonna ask. We ask a lot of questions. You just don't know about the questions because it's off camera. Did I get the hand motion right? I wanna <laughs> I make know. sure I, you, you got a perfect hand motion for there's the tech tip. Wanna make sure I got it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Give me my food. <laughs> that's, that's how I just do that. Awesome.